Hi guys, as you probably noticed, we got some rabbits yesterday. Right now, we have them in one of the rooms in the house, and so I have to kind of hurry up and build them a proper rabbit hutch so that they can be comfortable. And then we're going to be moving them into the barn over here. I'm gonna start with the base of the hutch, and I'm going to have legs front and back. It's going to be uh, five feet tall at the front and uh, four and a half feet at the back. It's going to have a lean-to roof just like the tool shed. So I'm going to get started because I need to keep moving, otherwise I will freeze to death and we don't want that. neighborhood until we brought in uh, chickens <laughs> but at least we got rid of the ducks
guess she's done. Couldn't take the pressure. bedroom or something. Ha <laughs> ha! 
getting warm now. I guess we just got rid of that cold front finally. Amazing. I'll take it. Hi, baby. Look out, here she comes. All right. Oh, the sun is nice. Yeah, it just came out like 10 minutes ago. I took my jacket off finally. Oh, great. Baby, good job. <laughs> you didn't even see it yet. No. Oh, my watch, goodness. Watch, watch, watch. Say hi to our, to our friends. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, I'm going to put another board up here because it's too much of a slant. I don't need it that hot, that, I don't need that much of an angle. Then again, I might leave it. I don't know, I have to see because I'll have to see what happens when I do this for the roof, you know? Yeah. That's going to be, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah. I like it like that, actually. Cool, right? Yeah. So this is going to be the door right here. We're going to have a door here. And I made it four feet wide because that's all we have in terms of the, I found the oh. chicken wire, mm -hmm. I mean, rabbit wire. And that's what we had left. So we're gonna use that rabbit wire over here. So I'm gonna put um, another board here and in here and then in the middle and then the wire's gonna run across. I don't know how many, I have to have supports because otherwise right, there's nothing to hold it. Mm -hmm. Be careful because the screws are sticking out. I have to saw this off. And that's it. Yeah, this but is it's good. coming. Yeah. I mean, we don't need a, we don't need a big door. You said you have a half hour. Do me a favor. In the bucket, uh, in behind the door, in the bucket on the floor, there's you know that metal saw the the little yeah okay uh, yeah that one with the red yeah. handle. Okay. You can grab it. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I hear the woodpecker back there. I'm gonna put one somewhere in the middle. Give it strength. So that's a 27. All three of them. Yeah, I heard. Hi, buddy. Hi, Chicho. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, 
I mounted it on the wrong saw. This one blew up on me. Oh, but that's the one we found, no? Yeah. But it's a shame because it was working good and then just died. Tried. Yeah. You know, you could do me another favor. What, baby? You could, uh, charge let that? me put these two screws, and then I'm going to give you the battery. You can bring me the other one. The other one is um, in the charger? No. It's on the table. Okay. In the living room. Do you want me to hold it? No, I got it. Thank you. You're supposed to say, I always want you to hold it. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to start that again. Mm -hmm. Don't stop that one. Lucy. Lucy. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yeah. Anything's better than having rabbits in the house. <laughs> oh, at least they don't stink. No, they don't. They just... They're they, not like chickens. They just like to, uh... They like to do Morse code in the middle of the night, but... Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Robert. In the meantime, I'll flip it. It's got a little bit of termite eaten up over there. Yeah, it was all, it's all eaten up. I had to cut the legs just so I could get it to use it as a base. Yeah, I saw they were pretty rotten when, when you pulled it out. I wish I could see the woodpecker. I can hear it. He's always prancing around like he has some place to go. No. Oh, that's a lot of wood. Yeah, you have to be careful because I have nails because I've been you. going through the wood. So mm -hmm. there's nails exposed. strength on this arm at all. It's gone. I can't push. It hurts. Oh, 
I, I use my other hand yeah. to help me. That's a nice solid piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. Literally, like, I think I have just enough screws for this piece, and that's it. <laughs> It's all right. We'll figure it out, right, babe? Yeah, you always do. Normally, I would use coated wire, but this is what we have, so this is what we're going to use. Because, you know, we use what we have around here. If you're new to the channel, we use what we have. Get my nippers so I can cut this.
get the nails off. You're right back. this supports laterally so that it you know it's more sturdy and then uh, of course I have the brace here and on the back side this is gonna be our angle so the roof is gonna be like this and then I put a block underneath there and then I put of course the mid the supports in the middle for to hold the screen so that has something to hold, you know to sit on leftover parts of a bedroom set and some other scrap wood. Time to cut the plywood. Considering I'm working on grass, 28 inches, perfect. All right, now, and it's not that heavy. I mean, I'm sure by the time I add the plywood, it will be, but the two of us can move it. So, okay, so we got, we're gonna have a little overhang on both sides.
Oops. <laughs> Guess I'll put a nail on that. Didn't realize that. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Now I'm going to cut the back And then we'll worry about the front and the roof. getting colder again. At least now I'm moving. All right. Can't believe I cut a piece of this stuff. You guys ready for summer?
hear the birds calling each other. I think we're going to have an early spring, guys. That's what I think. Our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Better? Yes. But I don't have any. I ran out. Finally 
Pink was here, it would have been helpful right now. At a later time, 
I might want to uh, cut this open and put some um, rabbit wire on it. Uh, right now, I don't have enough of anything. I could do it, uh, but uh, frankly, uh, we need to get those rabbits out of the house because they're, you know, they're starting. It's starting to smell like urine in the house. So, the cage is done. Think they'll be happy in here? I hope so. Rabbit hatch is finished. I put some uh, tar paper on it. Not even going to need it because it's going to be inside the barn. But uh, just in case there's a leak or something. So for now, I think they, they'll have a good home. They'll be happy. Better than where they are right now. So, door closes good. Everything nice and secure. Predator proof. Uh, and now I gotta clean this mess up before I can move it. See? You guys remember, right? You guys remember our barn? So we temporarily put them on the deck because um, the barn, it, I tried to clean it up, but there's just too much stuff in the way. We're not gonna be able to get that in there until I clean it. So, um, but as you can see, it fits fine. It, you know, at least they're out of the house. And then the, there's the three, the three does are in here. And then the buck is in the bigger cage. So for now, uh, and of course, this is uh, very temporary because we have to build another cage. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to build a bigger cage and then put the buck in this one and the does in the bigger cage that I will be building but we need lumber for that because I'm not going to struggle again and most of everything that's there is rotted. I used a lot of the sideboards of the bedroom set that I found and um, and it's fine you know um, it, it was good wood it didn't split on me when I tried to nail or screw through it so that worked out real good but uh, I'm happy I'm happy I'm happy because they're out of the house <laughs> I'm happy that they're out of the house guys that's all I gotta say so but uh, you know I have the uh, tar paper on it so if it does rain it will be protected and we're going to do this in the next week we're going to be doing a whole new cage so that'll be for the next video It's starting to look like a farmhouse. <laughs> <sighs> oh, they 
It's so cute. Oh. Yeah, Wait till you see what we have planned, guys. We're going to move the chickens and the rabbits into the barn. We should have thought about that from the beginning, but we, for some reason we just didn't think about it until now. And yeah. just this past week we started talking about it. And so we're going to have all of the animals in the barn, and I think it's going to be great. Yeah, it'll be easier for us to feed them and clean after them. And, right. Um, keep an eye on them from like wild animals, predators, yeah. neighbors, cat, whatever. Very okay nice. guys, okay. thanks well, for watching. Stay healthy, peace, health and happiness. Bye guys. See you soon. <laughs> Our chickens finally got some fresh hay inside their coop and in the nesting boxes up there. This is all temporary. We're going to be moving the chickens into the barn. So we're going to do a whole new chicken uh, house for them. They've been out all day. Yeah, they've been out all day. We even went to the store. We were gone for like an hour yeah. or so. And, and they've they're been fine. fine. Yeah, they just stay by the house, under the trees here. Yeah. And this is good because it gives them the exercise and the extra food, protein now, you know. Right. They should sleep well tonight. <laughs> yeah. They get to free range a little bit.